Hi, this is James from Wet n Wild Las Vegas. How may I help you? Yes, I'm hoping that you can. I was wondering if there um, was a manager or something available that I could speak to just for a couple minutes. Okay, and then what would that just be about? In I just particular? have a, oh, I just have a couple of quick questions about the park and the facilities. Oh, um, I could probably answer that for you then. It's just like basically. Not. Nah. Oh well, um, well, it it's really a question about. Um, what some of your protocols might be when um, being in a, a state of emergency for a water shortage. I'm just wondering if the park has any kind of protocols in place. Um, I'll can go get you someone to talk to you about that then. All right, thank you. Hmm, I can help you with that. Thank you for waiting. Your patience is appreciated. Please hold the line and we'll be right back with you. How much you want to bet I'm going to get transferred to a message line to a voicemail. Thank you for holding this with Dr. Sister. Hi, I'm hoping that you can. I'm just wondering what um, a shocker. if there are any protocols in place there for the facilities um and if if we are in a, a water emergency or a state of emergency for a water shortage or is are you guys would usually tell us to the city would notify us because that's part of our supplies they would let us know and, and I think the have they would come and probably shut us off and let us know have they uh, have they notified you of any issues or shortages no. oh because i know as a resident as us here as property owners and as customers of, of the water, we, we're getting notices that there's a water shortage and that, that, you know, there's a shortage in the Lake Mead water levels and the dam, the Hoover Dam is uh, <laughs> really low. So residents are actually getting notification and we're being asked to um, cut back on our use of the resource. So I was just wondering if um, some of the water parks would be willing to also step up to help you know, the residents in the state of Nevada I mean, we're charged, and maybe we're offer. Charged an elevated, we're charged at an elevated rate because of the amount of water that we use. So we pay premium parts for the product that we do supply for our guests here in the park. And so by um, all means, you get to waste it. under the control of our team in our corporate know. office in Australia. Well, I, in Australia? So is there, I mean, is there anybody at all that works for the organization that would be willing to... I don't know, maybe, I mean, like, make the suggestion of, of maybe helping with that? Because, I mean, I just don't, I don't see that, how that's, I don't know. I just don't see how that's fair. Of, <laughs> it wouldn't be at the will of, I, I understand your concern, but as a company, I don't think they would will to a guest request. I understand your concern, but as long as we're paying a premium price, we can waste as much water as we want and screw all of you residents who are paying your bills as well. You don't, you get restricted, but we're going to keep wasting our water at our water parks because we get to pay a premium price and you're just going to have to suck it up. It would have to be a citywide request that comes from them to us in order for us to facilitate that. Okay. Well, see, now I've already tried reaching out to the city and the water districts, and nobody is getting back with me. So I thought maybe I would just make a small appeal to some of the some of the water parks and stuff to maybe just consider, you know, looking into it and, and checking into what some of the information that's being passed on to residents. Because, I mean, we're paying our bills, too. Yeah. And here comes an ultimate insult here from this dude. No, we're paying for the use of the water, and we're being told that our our use is being restricted, and we're not, I mean, we're talking about personal use for people being able to use it in order to drink and cook with and I mean, we're being, for we're personal being use. Degree. We're being monitored to some degree, but it's on a level of a business, not a resident. Exactly. Exactly. It's on, business. it's on a level of business. It's on a level of business where you pay more money, and you're allowed to go ahead and and use up our resources freely for something like that while they're restricting the, the residents and the, and the taxpayers. It just doesn't seem right to me. And I just, like I said, I've tried to reach out to the water district and to some of the agencies that are in control of the information that are sending out the notices to the residents. 
that there is in fact a water shortage and that there's been a state of emergency declared for water usage. We are under actually a state of emergency for it. So I really don't see how it's justified that you are allowed to continue to operate and there's no consideration for it. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Again, we pay the premium price so that we can waste your vital resource. Unfortunately, that's we still have a business to run, and oh, we pay yeah. the premium price for the product that oh, we do supply. So, yeah, I mean, and unfortunately, people still should be able to have access to to water for personal use, to in order to survive, and not just for people to be able to play and piss in. Excuse me, but sure. you are wrong. Yeah. You are wrong. I apologize. Sorry. That's how you, feel. Yeah, you apologize. Yeah, you keep apologizing, yeah. but what and wild won't be willing to stand up and do anything for the environment when we're in a water shortage. And you will make. You can bet on. I'm going to make damn sure that more than enough people are aware of it. Sure. The pressure will be put on you. The pressure is being no, put on you now. No. You have the opportunity. You are aware that we are in a state no. of emergency for a water shortage. And the wet and wild, which I will be contacting them in Australia. I'll be looking into a little bit more into the corporate level. So. Um, which, by the way, I have attempted to do, but they've made it damn near impossible to contact anyone in Australia concerning Wet and Wild's corporate offices right now from the U.S. It's like we're not allowed to communicate with their corporate offices. They have seven facilities and seven water parks here in our country, but us as Americans and residents of this city that they have one of their water parks in can't communicate with them. Something's not, something's not right there. Something's not right there. People that are living in Australia should not be allowed to operate businesses here in the state of Nevada that are wasting our vital water resource right now, especially since they've just declared an, uh, an emergency. Yeah, okay, right. You're not going to pay a premium price and waste our vital resource. The city won't respond to you. I don't why I would have to adhere to. Oh, you and don't have to. there we go, to. right there. If the city won't respond to you, this is what the, the person from Wet n Wild says to me. If the city won't respond to you, then I don't see why I have to. You most certainly don't have to respond to me, Wet n Wild. But right now, you are looking like a bunch of jackasses wasting our vital water resources while you're paying your premium prices and the city and the county are going through restricting residential use and allowing you to waste our vital resources, and we're supposed to believe we're in a water shortage? Yeah, right. I think that the city and the state of Nevada better do a little bit more um, taking action that would actually, like, suggest that we are in a water shortage, which would include shutting down water parks, which would include shutting down fountains, which would include suspending all new construction of housing, why are we building thousands of new housing and inviting thousands of more people here when we have a water shortage? Think, people. Think. Stand up and say something now because they're going to start limiting our access to a vital resource like water and the guise of a, of a state emergency for a water shortage. But at the same time, they're going to allow people to pay premium weight rates and waste it. And you're going to continue to build housing for, and invite more residents to come here makes no sense whatsoever, people. These are questions that you should be asking these people that are in positions of authority and that are planning on abusing this new power that they have been given by declaring a national emergency. By declaring an emergency here for a water shortage, it allows them access to abuse more powers, more emergency powers that are undue. If they want us to believe that there is a water shortage in this valley, then they better shut down the water parks, they better shut down the fountains, and they better halt all new housing construction right now, period. Before you go taxing the residents and before you go putting on restrictions to residents who rely on it as a vital resource in order to survive, you better start taking action elsewhere, period. This is not over.